In this video, I am going to show you how to set up your Epson EcoTank ET4850 printer with the Windows laptop. You can use it with the Windows XP, Vista, Windows 7, 8, 9, 10 or 11. Let's start the setup process. Go to the printer control panel. First step is to connect the printer with the Wi-Fi. Scroll ahead and look for the setting. General settings. Go to the network settings. Select Wi-Fi setup. Select Wi-Fi recommended. Change settings. Select Wi-Fi setup wizard. Select your Wi-Fi network. Enter the password using this touch display panel. Press OK. Click on the start setup. Setup is complete. Go to the home screen. You can just go from top arrow or you can just press the home button. Now go to your Windows laptop. Go to the Windows laptop. In the web browser, type in ET4850 driver. Scroll down and look for your printer name in the Epson website. You will see your printer. Scroll down and you have to download the drivers and utility combo package installer. So click on the download. Open file. Click yes. Press OK. Accept terms and conditions. If you want you can just go to the next or you can select if you want to send users information or not. So I am just going to deselect it. And then click on the next. So we have already switched on the printer, ink is already filled in. So we just doing wireless setup. So click on I finished filling the ink tanks. Click next. On the next screen, select your Epson EcoTank ET4850 series and click next. On the next window it will display all the softwares that are important so just click on the install. Printer is installed in our Windows laptop. You can just click on the print test page to check if it's connected or not. Finish the setup in your Windows laptop. Click next. Click next. Finish. Close all the windows. We can start using it for printing and scanning. For example, just to print, you can select any document. So I have this document here and select here print you can also print photo select your printer four eight five zero series once it is ready we can see here all the options are available click on the print let's do the scanning for that we can use the ADF tray or we can use the scanner so place a page facing down on the right hand side corner go to the printer display panel go to the control panel and click on the scan scan to computer press ok 
select a computer select your laptop so it should be here because you have done the complete setup and click on the scan if you want you can save this scan or you can share it so this way we can do the wireless setup of this printer with the windows laptop and then we can start using it for wireless printing and scanning thanks for watching